Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, sorry I took so long to uh, up, upload a video. Last week was a little bit busy. I was trying to figure out how to do this. Um, I attempted to to use a software to record my desktop and I guess my computer's too crappy and it just wasn't taking it. Um, the rendering was too, too much CPU or something so um, so I had to kind of jerry-rig this thing with the camera pointing at the screen. I hope you guys don't mind. I hope you can see everything clearly. Um, anyway, this week I wanted to uh, not necessarily give you guys a tutorial, um, more so a like a walkthrough on how I light um, my figures for my artwork. Um, there are no hidden tricks um, with this. It is mainly light sets that I purchased from the Daz website. Um, I'm going to leave a few links below so you can um, go go check them out and download them. Catches, um, they do cost money. They're not free, so that's something to think about. Um, but I've been using the same light sets for two to three years now, and uh, I've yet to use anything new. So for me, it's money well spent. Um, but anyway, so so what I like to kind of start off with is um, I I already created a camera for this particular one, but um, the camera actually has a default uh, headlamp. See, right now it's it's kind of on, and so I can turn that off. Um, you know, some people leave it on, some people leave it off. I like to leave it on just so I can kind of see what I'm doing. Um, but, you know, when you start adding different lights to the scene, um, sometimes the the headlamp um, kind of interferes with that or it kind of adds a unnecessary light that you may not want. Um, I, I tend to just kind of leave it on, just, you know, it doesn't really bother me that much. Um, but... But yeah, so so right now I'm going to go to the the viewport, um, and I and I have the viewport set to um, the Nvidia iRay setting. So basically, it, it'll show you how the render will will look um, with all the textures and everything. So um, you can just kind of get a taste, you know, while you know changing the angles, changing the lighting. See right now, um, this is just kind of like the basic environment light that's going on, and plus the headlamp. Um, but I'm going to show you um, a few light sets. Um, first one that I, I use quite a bit is the uh, male eye ray lights. Um, let me just zoom out on this one here, get a little bit. And this one is pretty much my go-to to kind of start off. Um, I like to just, you know, bring a figure in, kind of add some lights, try to get some ideas. You know, sometimes I have lighting in mind beforehand, but a lot of the times I just sort of like, you know, like to see where it's going to take me. So I'll just uh, double click this first one here and right away you can kind of um, see the, the awesome little cast, you know. Um, I've kind of learned uh, with with 3D rendering um, that, you know, the more dramatic the lighting, the more realistic um, the figure looks. And I know that they they use this technique in like, you know, movies that, um, that sometimes they don't have like the best quality renders, but uh, the lighting makes makes it look a lot better. And in this case, you know, Daz has some pretty realistic looking stuff, but it's not quite at that level of like photo real realistic. So what I like to do to kind of trick the viewer's eye, um, I like to just kind of add a lot of crazy, just like shadowy lighting. It, it kind of hides some of that uncanny valley look that I absolutely hate with uh, 3D renders, um, but yeah, see, as you can see right here, like, you know, automatically, I mean, it just changes the uh, feel of the image, I mean, 
And I mean, you can see how many options you have here. Um, and I just kind of, you know, see which one I like the best. Oops, what was that? Okay. Like this one's kind of one of my favorites because it has that like nice little, that nice little rim light around the edge of the face. Um, but yeah, you know, even when you apply these lights, you can move the lights around uh, manually too. So you can kind of uh, really, really adjust stuff to your liking. And I mean, it's it's pretty addictive. It's like, I mean, there's so many options, like almost too many options sometimes. Um, and then I'm gonna let you guys know on another thing that I use, uh, HDRIs, it's basically like an environment mapping. Um, it's not quite lights, but it it kind of surrounds the image like in a 360 kind of space. Um, right now, I went to render setting and I have the environment set to scene only. And I like, I put it on scene only when I'm, I'm working with um, the physical lights. So there's no interaction with the background or anything. It kind of uh, shuts everything off and it just kind of makes you focus on the lighting itself. But if you want the um, HDRIs to show up, you have to go to dome only. And then I'm going to go to preview, see what that, so you notice how there's kind of this, uh, this sort of like overall environment lighting kind of, sh you know, lighting up the whole figure. Um, so I go to my render settings and then I have this studio light pro iray HDRI. This is like, I, I got this about a year ago and it's, it's amazing, man. Like, I mean, some of the, the stuff is just like, you know, right off the bat, you get a good result. Um, and let me load all so you can kind of see what I'm talking about here. So yeah, so basically this is like, I'm gonna zoom out here. And you can kind of see the environment is like sort of all lit. And there's like a little lighting pane right there where the light reflects off of. Let me zoom in again. Okay, so I really love um, these other maps here and I'm going to double click so you can check those out. Yeah, see, I mean, look at that, how, how dramatic that looks. And um, then you can hit this other one and it'll kind of add another light to the left side. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's just so many options. And the cool thing about these, these uh, HDR, my mouse kind of stuck there. Um, these these map um, kind of environment lighting things is um, the renders tend to be quicker and less grainy. I've noticed um, sometimes if you use too many lights um, and if they're not like set up properly, you get that graininess um, that's just really annoying. Um, so. So this is a real quick and easy way just to kind of avoid that. And I mean, look at that face. I mean, you know, these aren't very expensive. So I think I got this set for like $10 on sale or something on the Daz website and the other set about the same. Um, so, you know, it's, if you're like, you know, like me, you don't like to mess around with a lot of settings and you just kind of want to get in there and start rendering some stuff. Um, I, I really recommend just buying some light sets and some HDR maps. Um, it really helps um, with everything really. I mean, you can, you can pretty much, you can also like kind of rotate um, the figure to kind of, you know, get different like have the light hit in different areas like so I can like kind of rotate it here and then I'll sort of rotate it back there and you can kind of see okay I can kind of you know so you can just experiment all day if you want I mean 
I spent, like I said before in my other previous videos, I spent hours just just rendering stuff. I mean, just to get kind of ideas and um, it's like the possibilities are endless. But uh, but yeah, anyway, I just wanted to uh, show you guys this video. I hope you hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'm gonna do another video like this um, on how I create like custom Daz faces um, using pre-existing Daz models, of course. Um, real easy and uh, yeah. So um, hope you guys enjoy it. Make sure to subscribe, and I'll, I'll see you next time.